Hey, what up you guys this is Danny B you're watching the trash dish and in this video I'm gonna be ranking the Death Wish movies um all these movies are good this is not gonna contain the uh the Bruce Willis one either this is just gonna be the original five so coming at five part four the crackdown all these movies are really good um just part four is my least favorite it just doesn't really feel like a like a typical revenge flick it's more like like he's just taking on the mob for selling drugs. It's a good action movie, but when it comes to like vigilante justice, uh, it's just not my favorite in the series. Very good though, and it's got Danny Trejo in it. All right, coming in at number four is um, Death Wish Part Five. I recently uh, rewatched this one, and I used to think this was the worst in the series, but um, after rewatching it, I really actually kind of enjoyed it. It's it's definitely slower than a lot of them. It's more realistic bad guys. Like, it doesn't have, like, over-the-top stuff like the Giggler and shit. It's more just, like, Charles Bronson versus the realistic, semi-realistic uh, New York Mafia, mobster, Irish Mafia. This guy, he's not the worst guy that Bronson's ever had to face because Bronson's, like, usually taking out, like, rapists and stuff. This guy's just, like, a mean guy <laughs> like he'll say really mean shit to people and then um he is a bad guy he's a, a fucking crime boss but yeah and um my only real complaint about this movie is that charles bronson doesn't have a lot of dialogue in it and like half this he's not really in it half the time too like it's more he probably is just too old to do shit and they were lucky to get him at all so but I'm not complaining because it, it is entertaining and the uh, death scenes in this are fucking hilarious. Like there's a scene where a guy blows up with a soccer ball and it's so over the top. It's so funny. Uh, just some random guy getting hit by a car fucking flying through a restaurant window. A lot better than I remembered. So that's coming in at number four is part five. All right, coming in at number three, I'm going to go with the original Death Wish 1. And um, this is not really like an action movie. This is more like just a typical uh, revenge movie. I think this was like one of the first of its kind. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it's the very first one, but it's definitely one, definitely the one that set the standard for like these kind of movies. And it's awesome. It's gritty, um, pure exploitation. Even though this one is a little bit slower than the other ones, um, I still, it's still classic. And probably a lot of people consider this the best one, actually. All right, coming in at number two, we got Death Wish 3. And Death Wish 3 used to be my favorite. Uh, for many years, it was my favorite. And this is the best action-packed one in the whole series. It's just completely over the top. The, the bad guy is the fucking Ron Howard's brother. Not Clint Howard, but like his brother in Happy Days. Um, Richie Cunningham's brother. He shaves his head down the middle to do like a reverse mohawk. You're like, what the fuck? It's just completely outrageous. Uh, it's basically, it's like the senior citizens versus younger, uh, younger gang lords. I don't fucking know. But this is fucking pure cheesiness, hilariousness. Yeah, this is great. And the ending for this one is... Maybe my favorite ending for all of them. Part 4 maybe tops the ending just a little, but I think the shock value of the ending in this one is the best. It's just got so many classic fucking cheesy, cheesy scenes. So that's coming in at number 2, part 3. And coming in at number 1, I like this one just a little bit better than the other ones. Part 2. And the reason I like part 2 better is because... Is a little bit, is basically kind of the same story as part one, but it's done for cheesiness, like more like entertainment value. 
But at the same time, it's darker than like part three. Like it's a lot more like you feel the pain he's going through and stuff like that. And he, he gets revenge personally on all these guys. In the first one, uh, spoiler alert a little bit, but he doesn't actually get revenge on the people that did the crime. Part two, he gets, he takes out every single one of them. It's awesome. It's over the top. Just awesome. And my favorite scene is um, when he asks the guy, like, do you believe in Jesus? Well, you're going to meet him. So it's just, I don't know, classic Bronson shit. Bronson's always kind of a wise ass without trying to be. It's just awesome. All right, so that's my number one choice, part two. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of the Death Wish movies. Uh, let me know how the remake is, too, because I will check it out if, it, if people say it's good. But Bruce Willis is nowhere near as cool as Charles Bronson, in my opinion. All right, you guys, this is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dish. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.